morning, everyone. So the title of my presentation is Handouts, a springboard or a barrier for the reinforcement of student self-reliance. It is divided in these sections. We have an introduction, the aims of the study, research questions, research design, result and discussion, recommendations, and conclusion. So regarding the handout, it is a paper-based resource used to uh, support teaching and learning, which can free students from excessive note-taking or supplement information not is easily available elsewhere. Ideally, it should add learning and may increase attention and motivation and help students to follow the development of an, an idea or an argument. However, some students have come to rely on handouts instead of making their own notes, reading or even listening, listening or even thinking. So as teachers, we do not want to encourage this kind of passivity in students by the overuse of this wonderful and really useful resource. We want them to take away their own notes. So this is what really motivated me to uh, choose this topic and to try to do research in order to answer this question. So the aims of the study, the present works, work, sorry, explores teachers' perceptions about the use of handouts in the classroom. It addresses the following research questions. Is using handouts helping or handicapping the students? Does it reinforce the student's self-reliance? Regarding the research design, so in order to conduct my inquiry, I have opted for a descriptive method and design a questionnaire as a data collection tool designed for the teachers of the Department of English at the University of Bejaya. So the results and discussion. Regarding the first questions I have uh, asked the teachers, so is using handouts helpful? Does it help our students? So we have a few samples of their uh, answers. Handouts supplement the content of the lecture or the lesson, guide and provide information to the learners. They provide detailed information and permit students to reinforce their knowledge about a specific subject, Stu supporting details that were um, uh, omitted sorry, from the session can be covered in the handouts. They spare students tedious note making and thereby should generate greater concentration on the lecture. And handouts are time saving, time saving for both the teachers and the students. One of the respondents explains that handouts are useful when they are used to support a lecture and for a specific objective, for instance, to save time, to give students detailed information we cannot be presented in the lecture, and hence ensure that all the students have the same information, to give instructions, activities, questions, to stimulate thinking. So the modules that require most the use of uh, handouts, of course, according to the teachers who have answered the questionnaire, are the modules that deal with theoretical concepts like phonetics, linguistics, literature and civilization, modules that need practice or series of drills like written expression, grammar, listening comprehension, uh, comprehension sorry. So in other words, the modules that require the most the use of handouts are content modules rather than skill development ones. On the other hand, I have asked the teachers the question, are handouts, are, is the use of handouts handicapping our students? Here are a few samples of the answers. So when the handout is designed to spoon feed the students by limiting the critical thinking and analytical skill, the effect, which normally should be helpful or helping the students, supporting them, guiding them, is counterproductive. So it means the effect is the opposite of what the, uh, the teacher intends. It turns the students into lazy bones. They are lazy students who rely on teachers and even make efforts. This creates a kind of dependency on the handouts. Over-dependence on the handouts. When overused, it means when we give students too much handout or too many handouts, sorry, it may prohibit the students from doing further research. It means they rely on only what the teachers give them and they do not do research in parallel in order to complete and supplement the lesson. 
If the teacher gives extensive information in the handout, the student will not feel the need to look for another source. It promotes fact memorization and learning by heart. And normally we have all experienced this kind of phenomenon. Uh, when we give handouts to the students, when we speak about tests or exams, they do really replicate exactly what had been mentioned in the handout. They memorize everything and they answer according to the handout, not according to their own understanding. So this kills their creativity and critical thinking. One of the teachers explained that some students rely on handouts instead of making efforts by taking notes and participating in class. Thus, we can say that handouts may encourage passivity among learners and discourage attendance at lectures. Because when they know that the teacher is going to give them handouts, they don't even attend the lecture. Since they are going to have the full material. Moreover, active learning diminishes when students are provided with all the information rather than involving them in classroom discussions, collecting by themselves the necessary information through no taking notes. So they become really recipients and just passive actors. The last question is, does the use of handouts reinforce the students or students' self-reliance? So it was really a mixture of yes and no. And I have given uh, some of the answers in the two following questions, or regarding the two following questions. It can reinforce students' self-reliance when it triggers their curiosity to know more. However, there are some students who are satisfied with the minimum. But fortunately, there are others who always look for other references. Thus, it depends on the student himself. It means the fact that the handout is going to uh, develop a student self-reliance depends, first of all, on the student himself. If he is willing to do other research to complete his uh, knowledge, or he is willing to be just passive and rely on all that what the teacher gives him. Um, but if you don't give them handouts, they will feel obliged to do research, at least to revise for the exams. In some instances, it develops total dependence on the handouts instead of self-reliance. One of the teachers argues that the use of handouts hinders students' self-reliance because they rely on the handouts and thus reduce their learning to only this content. Thus, they do not work on their own as everything is provided in the handouts. So in the light of the results obtained, we can make the following recommendations. Handouts can be very useful depending on how they are conceived. They can be developing as they can be hindering the student's autonomy and self-reliance. Handouts should contain the most important elements of the lesson, but, all, uh, but not all the lesson in, detail, in details. They can be helpful for first-year students since they are not acquainted to take uh, or to note taking. As a teaching aid or as a supplementary material, handouts can be used innovatively to facilitate discussions. Quizzes and homework should accompany any handout so that the student will do his part of the work. They should not be used repeatedly. It means all, each lesson you, we are going to give handouts to the students. Teachers should avoid long and dense handouts. They have to make them look attractive by leaving spaces, for example. As a conclusion, we can say that handouts can be a very useful tool that enhances the learning process they can help the teacher in delivering his or her lectures and guide and provide information to the students. When used appropriately, they are a crucial pedagogical support. However, they can also hinder students' autonomy and critical thinking, so we have to avoid st uh, students' complete reliance on them. As one of the respondents stated, a handout can be helpful since it provides additional information. It can be unrewarding as well because providing reading notes encourages students to become passive and do not let them develop their own methods for organizing information. In such a way, we discourage students' self-reliance. This is why it's important for teachers to use appropriate handouts when it's needed and ignore it when it's not necessary. Thus, it's up to the teacher to make the best decision depending on the situation. So the trick is to know when and to whom we give the handouts. And th